Hello, my name's David Webb and on this video I'm going to show you how to paint some still life subjects in watercolour. As in the last demonstration, this subject contains lots of highlights, so as before I'm going to put an overall wash on and leave the highlights untouched. I shall mix up a wash for the, the glass bottle first. Some Prussian blue and a little light red to give me a, a warm grey. Put this wash on quite loosely. Slight greenish tinge, so I'll add a little Prussian blue and raw sienna. As you can see, I'm avoiding the, the highlights on the bottle. Just bring this wash down to the, the cornet. And there's a little piece of the bottle showing through at the bottom there. Put that in too. Soak up this little puddle here. That's it, and then just allow that to dry. Like the uh, glass bottle, the cornet being silver has actually no colour in it at all, no local colour. So everything in it is uh, reflections of what's around it. There are hundreds of highlights on this, but I'm just going to put in the main ones and uh, just give an impression. I'll mix up some ultramarine and burnt umber. I'll probably just keep adding colours as I go along because there are quite a few colours reflected in it. And I'll start at the mouthpiece end. Keep it quite loose, I think, at first. Try and keep my eye on the subject all the time. Drop in some raw sienna. Plenty of water. Keep the paint flowing. Keep it quite loose. As you can see, I'm just mixing colours on the page as I travel along the length of this cornet here. Try and work as quickly as I can to get this first wash down. And then I can come back when this is dry and put some detail in. As you can see, I'm leaving gaps all along the upper surface of this uh, cornet for the highlights to give it that nice sort of shiny polished look. Some of the detail is co quite complicated in the middle here, but if I half close my eyes I can see the, the main shapes that I want to paint. Mostly I'm using burnt umber and ultramarine for this mix along here. Alternating between warm and cool colours. Working my way up the, the instrument here to the noisy end.
Now before I attempt this round shape here, I'm going to carry on with the shadows. Because the shadows are roughly the same sort of colours. Just cool that shadow down a bit by adding a little blue. That's it. Underneath the centre of the cornet there, the shadows are quite warm in tone. So I'll add some more burnt umber to that area. Got some reflected colour there. Some reflections there from the bottle. Just change the colour a little here for this bit. Some green in there. It's quite light in tone though, so mustn't overdo that. And carry on with the shadow of the cornet. Just fill this in here. it. Right. There's quite a few reflections around here and highlights so I've got to be aware to leave those as I say untouched right from the beginning. Some quite large highlights around here. see myself reflected in the end of the trumpet here but I don't think I'm going to do a self-portrait. And then soften the edge as it comes out into the light there. To be aware that most of these uh, reflections here are curved as the trumpet sort of fans out. So to follow the lines of those curves. Some of these reflections are quite complicated around here but I'm trying not to sort of look into them and pick out individual things I can see. Rather I'm trying to just concentrate on the big shapes I can see. make these reflections circular. I'll just allow that to dry off now. 
As you can see, so far the picture is mainly monotone. We've got the cornet with the silver colour and the bottle there. So to add a bit of colour, I've put this apple on the end here, so I'm going to add that now. I'll start with some lemon yellow, and to that I'll add a little ultramarine. There's a nice little highlight on the apple as well, so I'll have to leave that uh, left alone, untouched. I'll start with some lemon yellow on the, on the apple there. Now I'll drop in some of this mixture that I've made with the ultramarine. Slight green colour. It gets warmer as it goes around to the left there. I'm going to add a little raw sienna. That's it. some cadmium red. You see that's all painted wet into wet there for this initial wash. Just soften this edge for the shadow. Bring that round behind the end of the cornet. allow that to dry. 